I didn't. Oh, sorry. Ah! Today is Saturday and I am going to the Golden Years Market. I went here last time it was going on and um, I believe I did a thrift haul of everything that I bought, but I got like my Playboy bunny necklace, my daisy print long maxi dress that's really stretchy, a yellow sweater, some red jeans, like some of my absolute favorite things in my closet. Um, so of course I was super excited to go again. I am meeting my roommate Delaney and also my sister there today. Um, if you didn't know that I have a sister, I do. She is 24, I believe, 25. Oh my God, how fun is this Ooh, closet? is it a pink long dress? Yeah, with like sassy. I size. love the different prints in here. This one's really nice and colorful. I thought I would do a tiny, yeah. tiny bit of vlogging today. This one is vintage Betsy Johnson, which I feel like was really, I loved her height of fashion. Remember all the dresses? These are so iconic. They look like they're nice ones. I love this kind of texture where it's like stretchy it's like soft. Accordion. It brings out your eyes. I say yes. Someone definitely wore that to prom. Hi Delaney. Hello. Delaney Waters and Muffin. Look at my blueberry muffin. Honestly, she's A pretty. Masterpiece. She's glowing. Your cute little clips. Who is she? Outfit of the day. <laughs> we love the docks. All of us, stock girls. Thank you, Doc Martens. <laughs> it definitely fits. Cheers. Uh -oh. Does it not fit over the booty? These are really crazy, but I'm into it. Oh, the butt pockets. Uh, yeah. I love everything with a matching top. There's like three options. <laughs> I'm really into it. Buttons. It goes with like the pattern in your skirt. We're business women. Try it. It's blindfolded. Hello, Chloe May. Hello, How's it going? <laughs> Her out. I miss blazer girl today. We have a blazer in here. Do I get another one? Honestly, it's really cute. Yes. Feeling hot? the vintage market. Um, I have all of my stuff in this red DoorDash bag. I also have a red Hydro Flask and red nails and a red shirt. Clearly I just like, I might like red, I guess. Delaney and I are going to celebrate St. Patrick's Day. Look at her skateboarding into the distance. About to get some brewskis with the boys. Cheers. Yeah, I love St. Patrick's Day. Just being actual adults here. We love it. We love it. This is beautiful. Thank you. This art. We have a minion. <laughs> we are going to make a pizza. Ready? What have you been listening to lately? If you don't know, Delaney has really good Spotify playlists. Thank you, thank you. You should follow them. We were just talking about the salon album earlier today. It's good. Honestly. Stay slow is good. Yeah, it's super good. We can play a clip. Oh my god, I just locked eyes with the man next to us like so hard. Ah, he you do it again. again! I keep thinking about this man that spoke to us earlier. Um, <laughs> he told me that his dog had his 500th bath today. <laughs> and that just really resonated with me. When we were at the nail salon, we both wore a single AirPod and listened to the same music. She was my little she was DJ really cute. for the hour. As this album. We're in the dark. Oh, bye. Bye. Uh, okay, this is Andy's, Andy's uh, other band. Okay. The album is uh, The Party, and the whole album is just telling a story of one person at a party the, all the way through. Oh, I like that. So, then, like, their experience is like, it can be overwhelming or something. But for him, like, it shows, like, yeah. him going through his night. That's really, That's cool. really cool. And then, yeah. so the second band, what's it called? Fox Warren. Have you ever seen uh, mukbang videos online? <laughs> yeah. Like, what if we did a mukbang of us eating pizza? Oh my god! Oh my god! It sounds That'd like be so fun. I think it's like the perfect clickbait. I've always wanted to do a mukbang. The shadow. I've eaten that shadow of that contraption. God, I love you vegan pizza. She's glowing. She's ready. She smells good. Can you see that? Um, oh, is there a little table inside? Oh my god. We asked you guys to ask us questions on Instagram to answer while we while we eat, aka a mukbang, muk mukbang or mukbang, mukbang, mukbang. I feel like Trisha Paytas. Paytas. <laughs> I've never done this Trisha. before. Cheers. One, two, three. 
Mm -hmm. I'm not even like being dramatic. It's literally just life changing. It's so good. Mm -hmm. How did we meet? We met sophomore year through our other roommate, Kira, who should be here. She's just not. But technically, we met each other freshman year. Mm -hmm. And she lived in the exact dorm room below me. That's true. The first time we hung out, we went to In N Out and then Walmart. I feel like that's when you know, like, if you can have fun at a Walmart with someone that like you're probably in love. Is Delaney still doing a radio show? Maybe tell them about the fact you had one. Um, yes, I had a radio show called Here and Now, and I couldn't figure out a good time to have it this semester because they have to like figure out scheduling mm -hmm. or whatever. So I don't have it this semester, but maybe I'll like take it and turn it into something like a podcast. I don't know. I want to continue it outside of college. If you just like music, give her, give her a try. Um, read your birth charts. We, we read yeah. this question beforehand, and so we are going to talk about it. She made me download CoStar, the app. Sun in Capricorn, moon in Sagittarius, rising in Taurus. My sun is Gemini. My moon is Sagittarius, and then my rising is Cancer. I did it in the same order as you, even though. But yeah. we're both moon and Sagittarius. So I don't know what that means, but... It says we're very emotional, which is, like, true. Emotions, moods, feelings. And I heard this is the one you most identify with. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. I'm on the cusp, so if I was born later in the day, I'd be a Cancer, but I was born at, like, 6 a.m. Mm -hmm. What time were you born? Noon. 12.32. Oh, my God, do you have the exact I amount? asked my mother. Wow. It was important. Kira, our other roommate, asked, who is your favorite roommate? She paid us to say this. Kira. It's sponsored by Kira Brenman. You're our favorite video. roommate, Kira. Mukbangs are hard. How do people film these without just being disgusting? How do you find new music? Compact cassette. I love that. Mm -hmm. It's a Spotify playlist. He updates it like every week. It's really good. And his um, name is David Dean Burkhart. And he posts like most of the songs on YouTube, but then also he has Spotify and stuff. I find a lot through YouTube. Anthony Fantano fans. One beauty product you can't live without. I really like the solution lately. Ooh. Like it, I do see an improvement. With my skin. Really? Yeah. I mean, I'm kind of working out right now, but for the most part... The texture, it looks really, your face looks really soft. Yeah. No, it's really been helping, and it, it's really satisfying solution. to put it on. Glossier. Glossier. Um, yeah. I'm not wearing mascara. I kind of forgot. But I am wearing the Milk Makeup Kush Brow. Um, so just like, got the brows. I just got the brows, you know? Because my hair is really light, so I just I kind of always have my eyebrows filled in. So I think I might have to go with that, low key. Oh, what are your favorite movies? You're a movie person. I have this app called Letterboxd where you like keep track of all your movies that you watch. Oh. So lately, I've been watching the Before trilogy oh. for the first time, which is like amazing. And I'm on the third one, Before Midnight. Um, <laughs> and then... Firefest. Fest. Yeah, I recently watched <laughs> Fire. Best so documentary. Um, um, very, very good. Short Term 12 is one short of her favorites. Short Term 12. I love Short really Term 12. Brie Larson. Mm -hmm. Columbus is a really good movie with um, Haley Lou Richardson. She's in the new, like, Five Feet Apart. Cole Sprouse movie. Favorite thing to cook. Someone asked, like, favorite meal. Do you think I cook? <laughs> um, I think by association, people just assume that you're vegan and that you like to cook. <laughs> <laughs> Also by association, everyone thinks I'm graphic design, but I'm not. <laughs> just my roommate. Lately, I've been into chia pudding. I keep making it, and yeah. it's really fun. It's a perfect morning snack, breakfast. Is that what it's called? Okay. Uh, we made vegan stuffed shells last night. Oh. Delaney helped me um, assemble them, which is honestly super necessary. Very true. It's the most fun part. But I love cooking for my friends and roommates. We're doing pretty good, as you can see here. Do you guys plan to live in the same city after graduation? Yes, LA. Mm -hmm. That's fine, that's safe. We're not going any further than that. Same gen same state. Same state, yeah. Same state, same, same country. Um, but same that city. is all, for now. Thanks for watching and enjoying this strange little video okay. segment. Uh, feel free to follow Delaney on social media. I will put her links in the description. Mine are always down there, but. Thanks for watching. So it's Monday. I thought I would continue this little weekend vlog to today because it's my spring break. So it's pretty much a continuated weekend for a whole week, which is really exciting. I have spent my entire day today. It is about 12 o'clock now, but I have been rearranging, cleaning, 
vacuuming, redoing my room. If you can't already tell from this angle, my bed is now in the center of my room. It's not against the wall. And I moved my desk to the window, so I actually have some nice natural lighting for doing my makeup now, which I've always wanted to rearrange my room like this, but this was completely unexpected. Um, for the past week or so, I haven't been able to sleep in my bed uh, or my room because we got a bug infestation of carpet beetles. And I have never heard of these, like up until this happened. Um, I'm pretty sure, I'm like 90% sure it came from vintage clothes clothes that were not washed which is like something I always do anytime I thrift or buy from Depop like I always wash it no matter what but recently I didn't you have to call an exterminator wash every single piece of clothing fabric literally anything and everything and so it's been super stressful I haven't had a room to just like relax and be alone in for a while thankfully I my parents live close by I've been sleeping there and at my boyfriend's house during the week but it's been like two weeks maybe I think at this point of me just like living on the edge uh, because of this whole situation a lot of my clothes for some reason are dry clean only like those weird fuzzy textured like polyester knits and like anything silk or linen so that's just a super fun thing going on in my life um, if you saw that comb I was using it's really cute it's from Poketto it's um, made of acrylic or like acetate and I just I love it so that was the main thing on my agenda was just pulling my room and life together but my closet is like completely empty I still have a ton of stuff to pick up from dry cleaning I also got all of these ColourPop uh, blushes and really metallic eyeshadows that I want to play with so depending how I feel I might do a um, some sort of tutorial or makeup video later but anyways I'm now going to do a face mask this is the origins original skin retexturizing mask I really love this one it's so amazing I've been getting really into skincare lately I've always I mean I've always like been into skincare but I also have been so obsessed with the ocean salt scrub from Lush I use this as a body scrub, not a face scrub, but it is for face and body. Similar to this product, it just kind of gets any dead skin off of you and makes you feel like dolphin soft. I look like the suspicious moon emoji, but uh, I'm gonna let this dry on my face for 15 minutes and then you want to just massage it off with some warm water. It's super, super gentle because your face is not somewhere you wanna use something as rough as ocean salt. Check out the texture of this. It's super gritty and it has like literal salt in it. So it's great for your legs. And then I've always been using the Charity Pot Lotion. This is my favorite lotion because again, I'm a really dry human being. Um, but this is a new addition. So I've always been using this. This one's new, but together they're just match made in heaven. Another product I've really been loving, um, I'm gonna cover my face with it because I look crazy, is this banana powder from Too Faced. It's basically what you'd expect out of a powder, but I just the packaging is really funny. There's a banana wearing a hula skirt, um, if that makes you wanna buy it. But I do really like this product. They sent it to me, but I've been using it. They also released some really good glitters with this line. I love glitter. I have so much glitter in my makeup collection. Just washed my face. I am now gonna put on some of the go-to face hero. I have a whole video um, about my skincare. If you want to, you know, get more of the deets. I'm also like basically wearing the same outfit I wore to the thrift market. It's just really cute, okay? So I wanted to wear it again. Um, these jeans are from Reformation. They are the Kick Flare and I got them for 50 bucks on Nordstrom Rack, which is honestly such a steal because they are not usually that cheap. To show you guys what I got at the thrift market, I got this amazing white lace dress. I need to get the shoulders taken in so that it isn't nearly as low. But other than that, it fits me really well. I love the detail on the sleeves is just so gorgeous. And I probably am gonna wear this on my birthday this year once I get it um, adjusted. And then I also got a really cute ring with kind of a teardrop shaped um, it looks like a crystal. It's just like a tiny little crystal. I really loved it. Um, I got this and a little heart-shaped rose necklace from the same vendor that I got my Playboy Bunny necklace from a while ago. I know a lot of you guys love that necklace, and so do I. Can't quite remember, but I'll be sure to link her below because she's super sweet as well, and the jewelry was very fairly priced. And then the last thing I got was a chain belt. I have always wanted a chain belt. They are so, like, vintage 90s Chanel to me, like... It's kind of iconic. I can't wait to wear this with jeans, like going out, even just like with a black 
top. It wasn't super expensive because you can tell it's just kind of like costume jewelry. But I am really excited to wear it because I've always wanted one, but I always see them in silver. So pretty exciting little tiny haul from the thrift market. I didn't end up getting a lot. So that is pretty much uh, it for my Monday night. I am just so cozy and appreciative of my bed right now. Like the fact that it exists and I can sleep in it. Really hoping I can get all my dry cleaning done so that I can get some fashion videos together this week while I have all this free time. I wanted to also tell you guys that this video is sponsored by Squarespace, which is very fitting because the rest of this evening and a lot of my spring break is going to be dedicated to working on my portfolio site which is actually through Squarespace. If you haven't heard of Squarespace before, it is basically an all-in-one platform for creating beautiful websites, online stores, shops, portfolios, and different things like that. It is what I personally use for my graphic design portfolio because if you didn't know, I am graduating in May, so having a up and functioning portfolio site is super beneficial to showing off your talent. And I do have a 10% off discount code, so you don't have to pay the full price. You can get 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain just with the code Lindsay Rem. So feel free to use that. I would highly recommend it. We all love getting discounts here. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you like this vlog. It's a bit different for me, but I am trying to vlog on my main channel a little bit more when I'm doing fun things. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Um, all my links and all of that good stuff will be below. And I will see you guys with a new video very soon. Bye guys!